Next speaker is Dr. Sokuri. Sokuri received BS, MS, and PhD degrees from Seoul National University, and he currently serves as a principal researcher in the Computer Vision Laboratory, Samsung Advanced Institute of Technology. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for to introducing me, Professor Kawai. Uh, and my name is Sokuri, and I'm from the, the Samsung Advanced Institute of Technology in Korea. Uh, I'm the, the first author of this paper, and I will present about the cluster minimization method for eye tracking based uh, 3D display. The subjective quality of stereoscopic display is highly correlated with the 3D cluster. Uh, it is the ratio of unwanted light leakage from other image caused by the incomplete isolation of left and right views. Uh, IEC uh, established the 3D cluster measurement method, uh, and in this method, the 3D cluster is the classified into uh, 3D pixel cluster and the offset cluster. The first one, the 3D pixel cluster, is uh, generated from the combination of the light rays through the uh, optical layer, uh, such as the, the lenticular lens, and it changes depending on the viewing locations. And second one, the offset crosstalk is generated from the offset component of each uh, luminous profile. And it, uh, it is constant uh, regardless of the viewing locations. The 3D pixel crosstalk is mainly determined by the shape of luminous profile uh, and it is affected by the, the optical design parameters uh, such as the slit size uh, and the slanted angles and also uh, by the, the fabrication errors. And offset cluster is caused by the refraction and uh, scattering uh, from optical layer and uh, glue and the color filter. You can see the example of the barrier transmission and the color filter diffraction uh, in the right figure. The upper figure shows the barrier transmission in the, the Nintendo 3DS, and the down figure shows <laughs> the diffraction by the color filter pattern. Uh, this is an example of the luminance profile from our 3D tablet prototype in, in eye tracking based 3D display. The suffixal value for each view component is assigned by the 3D rendering process and merged result uh, at the bottom figure uh, is seen to the viewer's eye. The blue curve is for the left eye and the red curve is for the, the right eye. This figure shows an example of the measured crosstalk uh, varying the viewing angle in horizontal direction of the for the, the fixed eye position. We can think of the offset crosstalk as a constant minimum baseline, and 3D crosstalk, uh, 3D pixel crosstalk is the component uh, which increases as the viewer's eye is moved away uh, from the, the optimal position of the minimum crosstalk. In 2018, uh, we proposed a directional surface rendering method for eye tracking based uh, 3D display. Uh, in our method, uh, each sub pixel value is determined by comparing the direction of light ray from the current sub pixel with the directions of the left and right eye positions. At the barrier plane, plane, uh, we calculate the horizontal distance delta L and delta R uh, from the projected eye position uh, to the closest barrier opening. If delta L is smaller than delta R, uh, it means that the light ray from the current subpixel is close to left eye. And we assign left image content uh, as the current pixel value. This slide shows that uh, the, the proposed 3D pixel cluster reduction method. We apply the blending weight according to the distance to the eye. 
as I described in previous slide, uh, we know uh, how close the light, light ray uh, is to the eye. The weight increases as light ray becomes close to an eye direction and decreases as it moves further away. So it has the minimum weight in the middle of the left and right eyes. In that region, uh, light ray can be seen to both eyes and contribute to the 3D pixel cluster. In the figure, uh, thin columns are the luminous component of each view, and thick columns are the merged uh, luminous for left and right eye. And the green curve represents the blending weight, and it has the minimum value at the boundary region uh, where the right ray is close to the both eyes. After applying the weight, uh, the cluster component becomes just smaller than before. For the, the offset cluster reduction, uh, we apply the classical the subtractive cluster cancellation method. Uh, we subtract the offset cluster component for each other uh, from input stereo content according to the display cluster level. Uh, when 3D image is displayed after 3D rendering, uh, offset crosstalk is added to the, to the output signal, and viewer can see the original input content with a, a smaller cro offset crosstalk. This figure shows the, the overall flowchart of our 3D rendering method. Our proposed crosstalk reduction method uh, can be integrated to our 3D rendering process in a parallel architecture. Uh, such as the GPU and the, the FPGA. Uh, we first uh, subtract the offset cross component from the input pixel, input pixel value, and then perform the pixel mapping using the eye position information. During the pixel mapping, uh, we calculate the distance to left and right eyes and perform the 3D pixel cross talk reduction uh, before the outputting. Uh, the resulting the 3D pixel value. This is a, a simulation result for 3D pixel cross tone reduction uh, at the left eye position. We measured the luminous profiles of two prototypes uh, varying the viewing angle and the luminous component of each view is plotted. The, the X axis is the view number and Y axis is the luminous component of each view. Because the, this is measured at the left eye position, uh, the sum of the red columns uh, will be the cluster component. By applying the proposed 3D pixel crosstalk reduction method, the resulting crosstalk is reduced to the 1.93% from the 2.26% for the 3D tablet and 4.23% from the 5.3% percent for the 3D monitor. Uh, you can see that the luminous component at the boundary view uh, where the output content change from the left to right uh, is decreased in the figure. This is the, the crosstalk measurement result over the uh, different viewing angles uh, from the minus 20 degrees to the 20 degrees with five degree interval. And it shows that the average crosstalk is reduced to 1.93% from the 2.28% for 3D tablet and 4.86% from 5.83% uh, for the 3D monitor with the standard, devi standard deviation of the 0.08% and 0.28% uh, respectively. Also, we measured the total luminance for each case and it is uh, slightly decreased to the 99.6% for the 3D tablet and 97.9% for the 3D monitor, uh, which means that uh, the luminance is almost maintained after applying the proposed uh, crosstalk reduction method. This is the crosstalk simulation result of the 10.1-inch uh, uh, 3D tablet uh, varying the eye tracking error. Uh, you can see that the crosstalk increase uh, when eye position error uh, increases. Uh, we found that 
uh, the proposed method is uh, still effective for the reducing the cluster when the eye, eye tracking error is inc uh, increasing. We tested our uh, cluster reduction method using the 31.5 inch uh, 3D display uh, prototype uh, as in the figure. Uh, the, specific the specifications are in the table. To compare the 3D image quality, uh, we took uh, pictures uh, by, a, by a DSLR camera at the left eye position, uh, changing the 3D rendering algorithms. This is the result of the previous directional surface rendering um, DSLR method uh, from the 2018. Uh, especially in the yellow and blue box region, uh, you can see uh, some the ghost artifact around the edges. And this is the result of the proposed crossover reduction method. You uh, can compare this. And you can see that the ghost artifacts are much reduced uh, by applying the proposed method. Uh, this is another example of the previous uh, DSLR method. And after applying the proposed method, uh, the ghost artifact around the, the white stripe uh, is reduced, as you can see in the figure. This is another example of the car image. Uh, you can see the, the double images around the, the car door and the, in the seat. And also, uh, the cross component reduced by proposed method. To quantitatively compare the image quality of the proposed method, uh, we measured the, the PSNL and SSIM uh, for captured images with reference of the single view content. The table shows that the objective image quality is also improved after applying the proposed uh, crosstalk reduction method. Uh, this is the conclusions. Uh, we proposed a new crosstalk reduction method for the eye tracking based uh, 3D display. We applied uh, different approaches uh, considering the characteristics of the 3D crosstalk uh, during the eye tracking and the 3D rendering process. Experimental results show that the 3D crosstalk can be further uh, reduced to the 1.93% for 3D tablet and 4.86% for the 3D monitor prototype. Subjective image quality uh, also increased by the removing the ghost artifact around the objective edges. Uh, but uh, we, we still need the further studies on the 3D perception effect, including the versions of combination complete. Uh, by applying the proposed method, uh, considering the depth range and the, the, the observation time. Okay, this is the, the end of my presentation, and uh, thank you very much.